Okay, alright, okay, so we're back. And, um, yeah, pretty much in the last episode, we pretty much did the whole thing. We talked to Victor over there. And we're going to see some dialogue that's not going to make much sense. So, once again, you know, I apologize about what happened in the last episode when I rambled on. But it doesn't really matter, so we're going to move on. Yep. <clears throat> Whoa, ouch, watch more. Where you're going, you little runt. I get called to duty on a holiday I sent out to search for someone all night. Finally find a moment to catch some rest. And by the way, this actually did load up another place, which thankfully I could reset and load it up the save file. So, yeah, I did do that. I reset the emulator to get there because I wasn't... <laughs> I did not do a save state at this point, so it's all right. At least I don't have to worry about that happening. Because I remember plenty of times when I tried to do it, I could not track down the save file that was on the memory card because of the save state. So, yeah, it's even happened to be on PlayStation. But anyway, I'm actually on uh, episode 6 of Back Arrow. Still don't know his name. Anyway, while Ren and Sin vows to unravel Shu Bee's trickery back in the capital, the crew takes a shortcut to reach the wall quicker and discovers a peculiar farm with a dark past. A per our pretty boy farm's a thing. So, anyway, um, and you come along. So, it doesn't really matter what you choose here. It's really not a real right answer this. I'm just going to go ahead and do that since there's no way to actually save on a memory card at this point. To choose which one. That's why you got to save beforehand to choose. And you have to reset. You know. Shut up, you fool. What kind of language is that? We're Imperial soldiers. You pro your protectors. Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. Young master, are you alright? Hey, you, why, who do you think you are? Who are you, and what's this young master business? You, show me his face. You look like that fugitive, the McDole kid. What did you, what did you say? Any more of us fuss, and we're in big trouble. Yeah. I hate that when they spark bark stuff keep going on like that. Anyway, it makes it sound like they're... Something's hitting the wall out here anyway. Yeah, master, get away. We hold them off. Guess we have no choice. Here we go. That's enough, young fella. You too, Imperial Big Shots. Use your heads. More the fugitives from the lob still be hanging around here. They couldn't be that stupid. I, I suppose you're right. We just wanted to be sure. Stop it. You're scaring them. Leave it to me to kick them out. Hey, wait a minute. <clears throat> Don't worry. There's no reason why we should be loyal to the Empire. So this is what happens this way. And this is exactly what happens if you do this, too. But this is different. Halt, you little runt. Who do you think you are bumping into me and not apologizing? What kind of upbringing did you have? Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. All this crap again, so you get to see this. Y young master, are you all right? Hey, you, who do you think you are? Blah, 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 blah. Who are you? I said, well, young master business. You, show me his face. Blah, 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 And, um, you're me, young master. Get away, we'll hold him. Guess we have no choice. Here we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip to that, but anyway. That's enough, young brother. You big turn your heads. It couldn't be that stupid. I, I suppose you're right. We just wanted to be sure. Stop it. You're scaring them. Let's leave me to be. Kick them out. To kick them out, anyway. Hey, wait a minute. So, yeah. And then... Here comes the dialogue again. Don't worry. There's no reason why we should be so loyal to the Empire. So, there you go. It doesn't matter what you choose... This all happens anyway for a reason, so I don't, I don't really know why that happens. There's not a real reason other than that, just to see that, I guess. Either way, hey, it's that guy. What guy? So, anyway. 
thank you very much. No big deal. I was just about to... Well, I was just wondering how to pay for my meal and... You mean... You did that just to build the... Bill, come, come, let it go. Yeah, all right, thanks for helping us out. So, anyway. So, if memory serves, I don't think we can get into anywhere yet. Yeah, the door is locked. Don't think there's going to be anywhere. Oh, hey, this is open. Eh, I don't really care about him. Is this open? Hey, empty house. Again. I don't understand what the point of this house is. I have no idea what this house is supposed to represent. It's just an empty house. For whatever reason. And uh, if you didn't do it, you can do it now. Come in here. And do this. Make sure you went ahead and got this taken care of. And you could go back over here and do the item shop, but it, you know, just as long as you've done it at least once. I'm not going to really do it again, but, you know, just in case. It'll be more also useful later. So, yeah, see this? You. You're a suspicious character. So, and we can't go in here. Door's locked. As usual. And you. Yeah, so, yeah, if you're still wondering if you can get out, you can't unless you go. Apparently, they were traitors. It's a great mess. Maybe you're... Mm-hmm. So, yeah, pretty much a lot of people have disappeared. Don't ask me. I don't know. Nobody had to talk to him. What's the matter? You look troubled. Heh <laughs> heh. I know who you are. That rebel McDowell kid, right? We're not rebels. We are not rebels. I couldn't care. Incidentally, I couldn't care less either way. Incidentally, how do you plan to escape this place? I have an idea if you care to listen. I'm used to this kind of thing. You are interested. So, yeah. Uh, the right answer, you're gonna, they're going to make you do it anyway. So, it didn't really affect anything. You, just, you still do that. I'm not sure I can trust you. I agree, young master. I can't trust him either. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm not sure you, I can trust you. We can't trust him. We have no alternative. Yeah, exactly. You are a smart one, young lady. What do you mean, young lady? Pfft. I'm not sure I can trust you. Well, okay, then do as you like. So, yeah. Uh, what's the matter? So, yeah... Uh, I guess it's going to start it all over again. It's just going to be like this. You might as well do this. All right, help us out. Leave it to me. But I have one condition. Here we go. It's no big deal. If you're succeeding in escaping, I'd like you to meet someone. A small request, right? So it's a deal. Let's hurry. First, we must go to the palace gates. Don't worry. I won't hand you over to the Imperials. And Victor has joined the entourage. Now, Victor is unfortunately there. You'll also notice that Soul Leader, again, has... I forgot, I don't think I said that in the last episode, but I did in the leader recording. Has nothing, just like the original. And again, uh, if you had a rune on, it would completely override it. So, you shouldn't have had a, a rune on by then, but if you did, oh well, it's gone now, forever. What a waste. So, no matter what you put on, that's going to be the thing. So, anyway. Yep. So, whatever you have to do, you can do it now, but there's not much to do. So, make sure you got knowledge you could before we leave, because this is the end of no return. So, here we go. You know, a lot of it's going to be no return, but, like, in other words, we can't go to where we were, blah, 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 you know, the thing. We'll all go talk to them. Just relax and wait till y'all. And, of course, if you don't know, he just did something. Well, you know, everything's okay. Make sure you hide your paisas. <laughs> sure is hot around here. I think I'll get in the shade. Phew, we did it. I thought we, my heart would have burst. How did you do that? No big deal, I just gave him a little gift. 
Imperial soldiers act tough, but money is their weakness. That's the state of things in the Imperial capital. Corruption is everywhere. Everything's about to come apart at the seams. That's too bad. Say, how, how, say, how do you bribe him? You just told us you had no money. Well, I said, oh, I use my own money to help you get away. What do you mean? Hey, wait a minute. My wallet, when did you... Now, this is a occurring thing that, you, you know, I can't tell you about right now. But, you know, anyway, that... Here you go. I suggest you keep a better eye on it. And now for our little promise. You have forgotten, have you, little fella? It's my master keyword. Okay, so it's master keyword. I'd like you to meet someone like Lena Cam, agree? So, <laughs> this is not the right answer. Now, you should know by now what Lena Camp is, if you don't. <laughs> I mean, if you haven't heard of it, you're going to be hearing of it anyway. I've never heard of Lena Camp. Ignorant of the real world, yeah, master. That's a quick trip south. Let's get going. So, what you don't want to do is that. What you want to do is, it's a promise. Fine. Now, let's get out of here. Lena Camp is due south of here. Oh, okay, so he tells us anyway. I don't remember that, but anyway... So, yeah, that's the right one. I know most of the time that I'm not going to know. Some of it I'm going to know. Some of it's stupid. Doesn't make any sense. Why even bother with it? I know. But here's another point. We can actually come down here if we want to, but it makes no difference. And, uh, yeah. There's a couple of places we'll be revisiting. You know. And, ba ba boom the fortress of Quaba is presently closed. Those who have no business here may not pass. The fortress of Quaba and the Shajare floating fortress are the Empire's ultimate defenses. As long as they are secure, the Empire remains safe. Yeah. The commander here, Ian Guy, is an old friend of General Teal. I like how this guy touched that. So, anyway. Eh. <sighs> So, let's go on. I never know what actually happens to Kanan. By the way, I guess I should have put in the rune on him while we were in Gregmaster, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to get another opportunity. Because uh, we're going to be doing that before we get into the area. We've got a couple areas we got to revisit. One of them we've already been to, but it had nothing to do with the plot line. Anyway, the other one has... But we're good as that, we gotta do that. Anyway, here we are in Kuna. Here we are in Kuna, the camp. Killer, not a much of a place, but they do make fine tea here. Ha 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 ha. Well, then, it's about time I got to work. Let me go make some arrangements. I may be late, so take a look around. Who is this fellow back to wants us to meet? You know, I can't quite question that man. I have no idea, so what shall we do now? I'd like to take it. I'd love to take a shower. By the way, this may be a spoiler, but there is no showers in this game. And in fact, there hasn't been a Sikulin game where they've ever made it where you can make a, where you can get a shower. I've never, I don't even know why they even brought it up, but it was just something. And it doesn't matter if we do this now or later. You're not from hereabouts, are you? We have a daughter named Meg. If you ever, if you, if you, if you ever run into her, please tell her to come home once in a while. Yeah, you guys are too young to be her parents. Darn that tomboy Meg. It made your calls indeed making her folks worry like this. So, the thing about Meg, even though that's completely optional, um... I'm just going to tell her about her, uh, that I, I'm not going to tell you what else about her that I can't spoil, but the thing about her that's not mentioned in the game is that, yeah, she's an, an explained character. I mean, like, in Sikodin 2, she's mentioned again, but this time, however, and I mean however, there's no mention about the parents, so we don't know what the hell happens and why the parents are even a thing. We have no idea. We don't even get... You'd never even get why they're a thing. 
So, occasionally you see a suspicious bunch of people go into the Kiaki Inn and never come out. When do you suppose they leave? Well, that's a good question. Um, I don't think, I could be wrong, but I don't think Victor's weapons are maxed out, but it doesn't matter. Really, how is he still here? Okay, so this guy I can't stand, but anyway. Unfortunately, we have to put up with him. So, they say some traitors are on the run. It's not you guys, is it? Maybe. It doesn't matter really when you do this or when you do it, but, you know. Now that I've got plenty of stuff, where shall I take it? East of Rockland, or maybe west past Mount Tiger Wolf to Serenity? Oh, well, wherever I go, I'll make a bundle. Yeah, whatever. So I'm going to go up here before I go to the advance the plot line. That's like the matters whenever we do this. Ham and cheese. I'm out. I was out for just a bit, and my someone just someone broke into my room. I've lost my savings, my wife's savings. Yeah. And uh, by the way, <laughs> it's completely irrelevant if when if and when you do find out who it is, which I will be showing you that. Yeah, this clock is something uh, or not. I don't know. So. There's a window over here, but you can't see it. You can't even hardly see it in our house. Or, rather, the house of General Teal and, and his son. Oh, service. Welcome to the Kayaki Inn. A bed of 70 bits per person. I'll throw in breakfast. I think they all throw in breakfast. I don't know, but anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and save here. And we will. Because this is our next destination. So, like I said, what's coming up next is something we actually have to do plot line wise in order to get to the other one plot line uh, for the other thing. So, make sure you have saved because I'm going to tell you right now. Did I save already? Because I don't remember if I did or not. Let me check my memory card. Yes, I certainly did. So, anyway, like, like, I like how we have to actually spend money to even go through this, but whatever. So, you are a friend of Victor's. Well, then I will prepare the best rooms we have, or shall prepare some rooms. Anyway, like, that really matters. And, of course, I guess, what's his name, Victor, he never returned. But we don't, we didn't make any other plans. I'll be right back. Thought someone was here from me, really. We didn't make any other plans. Let's wait a bit longer, and if he still doesn't show up, he'll, we'll head north. Perhaps me, Master Teal can help us. Well, why did Pon... Don't, just don't, Grimio. What's going on? It's the day hour. We've heard that some fugitives are staying here. We'll look around. But sir, our guests are sleeping. Shut up. Do you plan to harbor rebels? Yeah, young master, they're coming for us. Victor, he must have ratted on us. I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. This doesn't look good. They'll find us for sure. Yeah, but if we didn't trust him, we wouldn't have got out of Greg Master. Anyway. Well, what should we do, young master? So, okay. <laughs> Let's fight. Yes, young, young, young master. Ah, Grimmy will protect you with my, my, my life. See, that's what I mean. This is like the second time he actually does this stuttering thing. Anyway. Oh, stop it, Grimmy. He was kidding. There's too many of them. Come down. What are you talking about? There's too many of them. 
You have spells! Anyway, let's just load up the one... Okay. So, it really doesn't really matter what you choose here. We're in big trouble now. We, we in big trouble. Grimio, maybe we can get Young Master out before... That's why, a hurry. But before we do that, we're gonna choose the right one. I'm scared, let's run. I'm not really scared, just so you know. Good, good, good idea from this window. Here we go, huh? It's jammed. Won't open. Hurry, they're coming nearer. So it doesn't really matter what you do, they'll come up here, but that's actually the right answer. Like I said, there are sometimes I know things, but it's never really a clear direction. We're in big trouble now. Grimmy, maybe we can get Young Master out before. Hurry, this way. Oh, wait yet. Yeah, so... That voice from the clock, I think. Well, what should we do, young, young, young master? Young master, not that way, why not? He's right. By the way, the voice came from that... It came from that clock. I okay, we're putting a dash again in there. But yeah, you can't get it out. There's like a window over here. You don't even know it. You can barely even tell that there's one over there at the house that we were in. But, of course, we gotta do this. And now I'm not gonna turn on the sound for this. What are you waiting for? Hurry! Do you want to get caught? Ah. What? Who are you? Whoever this is, whoever it is, thank goodness! And I just farted. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, they're... So, you're the new friends the director told me about. Everyone's waiting. Follow me. Says Odessa. That's her name, is Odessa. So this here is completely irrelevant, but it will be for later on. So is this over here completely irrelevant? So we're going to walk in here and it's going to run it on its own. Sorry, Killard. You must have had a tough time, but it was exciting, wasn't it? What's going on here? I didn't think I'd give myself away so soon. Oh, well, now that you've met Odessa... Odessa, the name rings the bell. What do you mean it rings the bell? You wouldn't know her. Anyway, you don't mean the Rebel Army. Rebel Army? We're the Army. We refer to call ourselves the Liberation Army, but who cares about names right now? Let me introduce myself. I'm, or I am, I am, Lady Odessa Selberg, leader of the Liberation Army. How do you do? Vector, are these the people you wanted us to meet? Right. Prepare yourself for a surprise. This here is the son of Daryl Teal McDowell, and the future to boot, to boot. Don't you think he'll be a great asset to the Liberation Army? You've got to be kidding. Why should Young Master join the Rebels? Right, Young Master? Okay, so it doesn't really matter what you choose here. You're not joining. Who says I'll join? So he says. Well, perhaps um, he we can convince him, right? He has nowhere to go anyway. I guess you've all been fooled by Victor as well. So what you actually probably should choose, which it really doesn't matter again. Maybe I should join the Liberation Army. So he says he's interested, Dutch. No, no, why? Recently, many of our hideouts have been discovered. There must be a spy among us. With all the problems we are already have, we can't afford to recruit straight, complete uh, strangers. I guess you've all been fooled by Victor as well. Whenever he takes a liking to someone, he just drags them in. But they do appear to be haunted by the Imperials, and the town's st still full of soldiers. You may stay until things blow over. Whatever decision you make afterwards is up to yourselves. You've got to be kidding me, young master. Join the rebels? No way! Rebels? Liberation? Army? Well, why not? Maybe we should become true rebels. Then, on the other hand, what would Master Teal think? Who cares what he thinks? So, anyway. 
You don't really think the Empire will take you back, do you? That's what he says anyway. They'll kill you for sure. And he has nothing to say. So, anyway. My name is Sanchez. How do you do? I like this guy no matter what. But anyway. If I desecrate you as I crossed our soul alive. My name is Flick. Lightning Flick of the Liberation Army. You've never heard of me? Well, then remember the name. The quiet one, there's Humphrey, the swordsman, and that's Sanchez. We three are pretty famous in the, Liber in the Liberation Army, you know. So let's do what she has to say. I'm so sorry. You must have had a fright. Richard's got bad habits. I guess we're enemies. Too bad. Yeah, about that. Anyway, so I... I've done this before where I've had this where I had to touch this guy and it actually worked and then but I don't know it might have been a glitch but anyway let's just let's just press the X button. I I, I, I you all why? I, I must tell Lady Odessa. See, let's take him inside. Where are we? Oh, don't worry. This is the Liberation Army head out. Have you a message for me? You must be Odessa. Thank goodness. I'm one of the Mount Cypher bandits, but we've only attacked those rotten Imperials. Anyway, the other day, the Imperial Guard came over and captured our bosses, Varxus and Sidonia. Varxus and Sidonia? They could they be? Shh! Be quiet! Lady Odessa, please help Varxus and Sidonia. That rotten gritty of Rockland has strung them up to starve to death. Outrageous execution without trial, even by imperial law. Actually, I like how, like, most of the time they they actually pronounce it with an E. or I mean, not pronounce it, but E. Or, bleh, spell it with an E. For imperial. Anyway. I, I, I could have when I saw it. Did anybody not see, I'll see where it said E for imperial anyway? How awful. Well, Odessa, Imperial Surveillance has been intense lately. We have a, to keep a low profile. I'm aware that we're understaffed, but the bandits have asked for our help. We can't let them down. Now, there's another point in the game you're going to be like, uh, what do I choose? Well, this has nothing to do with us. Young Master. Young Master, Parkinson's has done you are those bandits we captured. Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with us. That wasn't us. Young master, don't you care? <laughs> says the guy who says something about me not joining. Young master, you must be willing to admit your wicked mistakes. I don't know, Cleo. What mistakes? I didn't do anything wrong. Young master, Parkinson's has done it. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, fine. It's our fault. Do you mean what, what? What do you mean? It's your fault. We, we, and we. I see. Well, even if you didn't know what you were doing, you still have to claim responsibility, right, Killard? You must rescue Marcus and Santana. I'll help you too. I agree. I don't plan to betray the Empire. There it is with the E. I knew it. No, that was. Not knew it. Uh, what the hell am I talking about anyway? But Grady is unforgivable. You're, you're right. I'm doing Grady's wrongdoings would be good for the Empire. Besides, if the young master gives the orders, I will follow. Thank you. Rarkus and Zidonia are strung up at the home of Rarkus' military commander. If you don't hurry, they'll dry up. Did you not just tell us that? Why do you have to tell us that again? Anyway, please help them. Killer, I, uh, killer, I beg of you to give it to you go to. I like how you already offered to go, and she's just like, you know, telling him to go anyway. Why the hell did you do that? Uh, I, you know, this is great, fantastic stuff. Don't get me wrong, and I can excuse it for its time, but in a sense, but it's still like, why, why? Oh man, really. Especially when they tell you about where to go more than once. Like you don't already know. <sighs> anyway. Leave it to Victor. Let's get going, Killard. Rockland, here I come. Yep. So, Victor joins the party. So, anyway. 
Mark Simpsons are dying. Please help him right. Please help them right away. Yep. You have nothing to say. Hawkon is east of the capital from Lenniken. It's northeast. Okay. Anyway. Don't for a moment think that I trust you. After that goes for you too. Please, killer, and help them. Oh, don't you worry. We will. By the way, that guy disappears. So I don't know what happens to that guy. So, actually, we're going to save here. But we're not going to end it, though. There's no point. No, 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 no. But there is something we are going to do before we even go attempt to go over there. Even though it may not make a difference, because... You know, what's coming up is... There's no actual boss fight, so... Much like another place coming up that we have to do. So... They say some traitors are on the run. It's not you guys, is it? So, anyway. Yeah. You'll see why later on why I don't like that one guy that's in there. Like, um, what is his name now? I forgot to put on that, that rune like a fool. Because uh, there is no other challenge. The only two places you have is between here and Greg Minister. And once Greg Minister is locked up, you're pretty much well done for. So. I am going to absolutely put Clone Room on Victor. There's a reason for that. Even though I actually did have a room like that or close enough in Sakoda 2, but for some reason or another, normally you're not supposed to be able to get it. So I don't get it. Don't ask me. I don't know. And all I know, literally, from what I understand is that they actually took it out of there. For whatever dumb reason. Even though it was actually better for Victor. And that even though that any character could wield it, but it wouldn't have been a good idea to put it on uh, the main guy here. So, yeah. And we still have nothing yet. And so, don't worry about it too much. So, um, I'm not really worried about equipping him, but I am going to look at his, that is deal. Yeah, he's got a Taya sword. I am going to equip, um, you know, there's also something about weapons later on I'll get into. But for now, we'll go ahead and max him out since we've already done that with everybody else. Did I already max her out? Yes, I did. So. Yep. And there it is. Arm's name became in Shiko Sword or Shiko Sword. Whatever. I don't care. It's like the word Ryu. I like the word Ryu. Even though they pronounce it Ryu, which makes no sense. Why is it that the Y has to be exactly like the I? I don't get it. The I is still pronounced as E. I don't get that. Why? It's just... Redonkulous. I really just call him Ryu, not Ryu. Because it's got a Y. Not a... <sighs> anyway, when do, when do we ever get to use the Y? That's not an I. Last of it affects me like that. It really does. It really, it really grabs my nerves hearing stuff like that. However, we don't need to go looting out this mountain now. But the other mountain we will be through there... So, I, you know, if you're lucky, sometimes you get to fight twice, these soldiers. But it doesn't really matter which way you go. Yeah, that door is always going to be locked, no matter what. So, let's go ahead and go in here, save. Yeah, so, because, um, really, this is going to be some crazy thing. So, and another thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure you've gone over the items in uh, weapon shop. So, I'll do that here. There's a reason for it. I'll go for it later. So, anyway, let's go on over here. I don't want to talk to her because we've already done what we had to with her. All she is is a way to get your money. Uh, that's just not where I wanted to go. Did that mean? Dude, stop going in the door. Anyway.
So, make sure you've gone over the list. Go all the way down to the bottom because, believe me, it's worth it to do. You'll, I'll tell you about it later. That's how you'll know. It doesn't matter which side you go on to. Uh, you know, who are you? You've no business here. Get out or you'll be strung up like those bandits there. Ha ha ha. And I see you could have got like, a little bit of a glimpse of them anyway. But you couldn't see their, yeah, up there where their faces are. You can't even hardly see their faces now, but you get a more of a clear shot like that. Security's pretty tight. It'll be tough sneaking in. Well, leave it to me. I'm used to things like this. Yeah, here we go again with that. Anyway. Help, help. The greatest monster is on fire. Fire, fire. What? I mean, what? Victor, what what have you done? You didn't. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It must be the dry weather. My goodness, young master, don't you dare take after someone like this. So yeah. Unfortunately, well, actually, we could have seen their legs, but um, yeah, lot. So, I gotta talk to you about Grady, but I can't talk to him until that. Now, this is the point. Ouch, better watch those for slimes. So, yep. Yeah. That's a reoccurring thing, anyway. So, let's go ahead and get on with this fight here. So, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna do this, this, and I'm gonna use Clone Rune. Don't use her spells just yet. I always save them for like the last bit of uh, entry or the boss because you know it's actually more thing. Anyway, I'm not really worried about it. So yeah, you want to go ahead and loot while you're here. This, even though we'll probably wind up giving up some things, but that's neither here nor there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do. Uh, yeah, you kind of have to fight these guys anyway. Uh, there is one room we can avoid, but I'm not going to. Simply because I can't, I don't want to. It gives me more experience anyway. Like this one here, and oh, excuse me, there's two, three of them. Whatever. Anyway. <sighs> so I think there was one where there was a captain and whatever. I don't really care. Yeah, the em Empire captain. You don't get to see very often, but you know whatever. So yeah, and I'm not worried about it. So you know. Brass armor. Nice. So I'm going to hand this over to you. I'll probably wind up selling the leather coat at some point, but not right now. No, no. no. So. Yeah, let's fight these guys. I like actually three or four rooms. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not killing you right in here. Oh, by the way, that one in the middle is the female, if you don't already know, the one with the shield. Not just because it's got a shield, but I can definitely tell. You know. Why are you suddenly attacking me? And dodging our attacks. You know, that never happens. You know, unless they're, like, higher than us for whatever reason. But that, uh, there was pretty good. So we're gonna go in here. And, um... Okay, so there's no soldiers in here, but we did get an antique that we can't appraise, so... Or ornament, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now, we got one more room that we actually want to go into. And, uh, okay, maybe there was no soldiers here, but we'll get some bits. Okay. I'm blasted freaking bugs. And now we're going to use her spells. Oh my goodness. Well, there is those who shoot, uh, not, they're like bows and arrows, but I forget what they're called. They're, uh, called, um, I, I don't know. Well, we're going to use the Firestorm. Yep. <clears throat> Get out of my hair. I hate when they're in my head. Arm bugs. There we go. Oh, 
Ha. Uh, what's going on? I can't see. My God, it's you, Imperials. Why are you here? Have you come to laugh at me? Of course not. If we'd known what sort of fellow Grady was, we, we, we never would have helped him. A few things happened, and now we're wanted by, by the Imperials, just like you. We'll help you out. Why are you suddenly helping him? Thanks. Get my buddy too, will you? Ha! Not necessary. Sidonia, why you? If you got tricks like that, why didn't you escape sooner? Ha! Can't very well escape alone. Sidonia, you? <laughs> hey, let's get out of here. Yep. And we will. Yep. That's right. We. This would have been called the rescue. Rescue the bandits, because, yeah, we've gone from capturing the bandits to rescuing the bandits. Okay. Anyway, Grace says, you, 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 you dared to turn against the Emperor, free the bandits, and even, even set my house on fire? You'll be sorry. So, you want to front a fight? Don't you think you're the only, don't think you're the only one with a garage? Why, I'll cut your eyes, balls. What? Oh, well. Ha, I'd rather tell him the pieces. Um, please, well, you, you see, you'll regret this. I'll tell Mr. Crazy about this. You'll get yours. So I don't know whatever happens to him. Cleo, do you think the Empire... I'm mean, Cleo, did you think the Empire would take us back? I don't know. Y young Master? Ha, 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 don't worry. There's all kinds of ways to make a living. I like how he's the one who first says that in something. Oh, never mind. So, yeah, you actually want to take out this way. Because, if you sucked. Anyway. I guess we owe the Liberation Army our lives. I tell a lady at this that if she ever needs her help, Burgess and Sidonia will be there in a flash. Well, we're, we're off. Perhaps we'll meet again. Indeed, we might. <laughs> it sure is great to be done. Let's go back to Lona Camp. Killard. Why don't you spend a bit more time with the Liberation Army? Come on. Young Master, when we return to Linda Camp, let's decide what to do. At this rate... So, yeah, we're going to actually heal up. So, I was going to do something else, but I realized that we were kind of over time here, so... I don't want to turn this into an exact hour-long video. I don't believe in such nonsense. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against people for doing it if that's what they want to do. But I just can't keep up with that kind of stuff. So, it's just not my thing. If you want hour-long videos, I mean, I have had a longer, long video. But I just, I don't like getting into that kind of stuff. That, that makes me sense. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And, um, yeah. I apologize. It's going to take a little bit more. My episode usually one up taking more than most anybody anyway. Or about the same... Um, not that I've been really watching anybody, but I can tell that they've had, like, I've had seen people where they've had thousands of videos, and I don't even do that many. You know. Or, you know, or they've listened their videos to about six hours to 24 hours until they can beat it or whatever, or even 72 hours. I can't do that. It's not my thing. I can't stay up for that long. I'm lucky if I get, like, what, two days, maybe? Every once in a blue moon? If I can stay awake long enough? I mean, that that in itself is about the luckiest you can get. For, like, a, a miracle. It could actually happen. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, um, know that I don't talk about politics. I hate talking about it. But I have, I can't say I never have, but I will not sit there and make a big deal about it. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, yeah.